Hey, Thomas here with GunRightsForIllinois.com. Just taking a walk, clearing my brain. Senate's going to be back in session tomorrow in Illinois. Mayhem's going to break loose most likely. We've got these gun bills coming up. So I just wanted to kind of clear my brain, get ready for it. But I've been kind of dwelling on a conversation that I had earlier today on Facebook. A person mentioned he was having kids and at what age should you start training your, your kids about gun safety and when to shoot. It's an interesting topic. My kids have been shooting for a little while. My daughter's 12. My son is 8. I've taught them about firearm safety since, since they could listen. But a comment was made about beware of your neighbors. What if you live in a neighborhood filled with anti-gunners? How's that going to look? Maybe your kids won't have any friends. That's kind of the topic, what I want to talk about. That's what's really been sitting in the back of my mind. Don't be ashamed of who you are. You know, we've got the media to do that. We've got the anti-gunners to do that. They're shaming us already. We don't need to shame ourselves. Be proud of who you are. There's no reason why you should be embarrassed to be a law-abiding gun owner just because you choose to own guns for personal protection or for hunting or for collecting or just to exercise your constitutional rights. That's your right. You don't need someone else approving of, of your ownership of firearms. You know, this is a topic I've thought about I thought about years ago. Like I said, my kids 8 and 12. It's something I really thought about uh, how my actions would affect my children. Would they have friends? Would the parents shun them? Uh, and, and I still think about it as my kids are going through their friendships and their friendships change. I sometimes wonder, is this my fault? Are the parents anti-gun? Is it because of my personal beliefs? And, uh, you know, I teach my kids, I'm telling you, be true to yourself. Don't worry about what someone else thinks. Be true to yourself and who you are. Uh, if you're true to yourself, the garbage will take itself out. You don't have to worry about that. If they're offended, that's not your choice. That's their choice. That's their personal decision to be offended. Shouldn't matter to you. Teach your kids. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Follow my advice. Don't be ashamed of who you are. The trash will take itself out. You know, we're not talking about making a decision for privacy or security reasons that you don't want people to know what you have and you don't want to be a target. And I understand that and I agree with all that. We're talking about being embarrassed of who you are. And we're talking about how your exercising of your rights may affect other people. That's the topic of this conversation. Be true to yourself, the trash will take itself out.